We got a one, a two, a three, and a hang out. Metal Mike, video two on Sunday. Just got back from the flea market just a little bit ago, and let me tell you, whoa, what a fucking wake-up call. Uh, I, I, did I learn anything from today? I think you learn something every single day. Uh, if you could pull something from it. Remember, uh, a negative feeling is a lesson. Uh, that's how I'm starting to put things into perspective as I'm getting older. Anything negative is a positive because I am learning what not to do, what I don't like, etc., etc., etc. What do I not want to sell anymore? Who do I not want to deal with anymore? Uh, what items do I simply don't want to have to sit on anymore? Tons of inventory. Look at it all. My place is full of fucking junk in the bunker here. We're fucking loaded. And what am I doing? I'm always out hunting and dragging more shit home. So it's kind of self-defeating. I will tell you right now, realistically, I think that if you're moving things, Craigslist is a great place uh, to, to sell items if you're going to go that route. Uh, eBay is the number one uh, route for unloading large lots of littles, smalls, let's call them. But man, I had the car, I had six tubs, 18 gallon tubs, I took out to the flea market, three tables, filled them up, decent inventory, not great, not shit, decent, just affordable beginner collector items, and even just for people that collect and like unique items, I, I always feel that though I might not have the most valuable items, I have unique items with character, patina, all those things we want to look for, good shelf art, etc., so, we went there today, and what did I make at the flea market? I think I walked away with $35 at the end of the day, and that was not enough. Um, how much time did I put in? Not enough. Uh, I started too late. Uh, I spent more time shopping than I did trying to sell. Lessons learned, lessons, lessons learned. Uh, but still, you know, it was deep. To sell 35 bucks, I think, uh, well, actually, in the end, I made like 72 but you pay 20 to set up. Uh, I bought two items for 20 so that's 40 So in the end, I think I had about 35 bucks profit. Uh, not where I want to be. I would like to, if I'm going to go to a flea market and set up and, and sell personal items, you know, I'd like to at least get walk out of there with 300 bucks. But, you know, hey, lesson learned. I think a lot of the lesson learned is I keep walking away. I leave my son in charge. And my son is, you know, he is special needs. He is autistic. Even though I have the items marked, he doesn't know how to um, to strike a bargain if someone makes an offer. He doesn't know how to counter, etc. I'm teaching him, and I'm trying to get him to understand those things. And uh, we'll get it. We'll get Lane up to where he needs to be to help as Papa here grows old. A uh, couple pieces I'm going to show you, though, that I picked up at the flea market. I spent 20 bucks, 10 bucks a piece on them. And overall, I think I did relatively well on them. Now, they're just old buddy owls. I would consider these good for restoration or, more perfectly, just art. The grills are gone. Always the case. You're seeing more and more of these pop up without grills. And people are selling them cheaper and cheaper. I got these at 10 bucks a piece. All four tires here, other than the horrible little uh, screw headlights that they tried to improv on it. And for some reason, they filled glue right here, here, and up through here, which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look like it was popping out or that it had been uh, uh, bent at any time. So unless maybe it just gapped itself and it wasn't sticking down. But everything's there to hold it in place, so odd, odd move. I, 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 I'll I, never figure that one. Who did that and why? Uh, this one's a little bit more crude. Uh, it's a shell on it, though, so it could be a shell uh, gas station truck. But look here, we got half a tire. You know, I dig it, though, because I think if you set it like this, well, that's not too cool, but you can put it like that. And overall, really nice patina. Little soap and water to get the mud off of it. But great little pieces there for you to set up on your bookshelf, etc. I don't mind those. What I do mind is glassware. I freaking hate glassware. Uh, and I hate just shit that I'm not into anymore. <laughs> There's so many things. And I continue to bring it home, right? Right now I'm sitting on a ton of turntables. Uh can't move them out receivers can't move them out 
Uh, nothing special about either one of them, but still, it's the slow, tedious. Patience is the virtue, something I don't have. If I had the patience to sit and sit, but time is of the essence for me because I really want to move this shit out. I need my garage open because I really want just the walls covered and I want the whole center open. And let me show you, we're nowhere close to that. If you can see, this whole centerpiece here should be empty all the way down to that garage. It is frickin' full. Whew. I think that's the scary part about all this is, you know, you start to, you get carried away with the inventory. I've made a million videos about this, about upgrading, etc. But how you can instantly be buried. Now, I have been working at it and working at it trying to get my stuff down, my collection, so that it is more accessible and that I only have the items that I really want. And uh, look at me. I am still drowning because the old beast won't die. The old beast inside of me, the old junker, the old picker, I still get in my new transit and I go for a cruise on uh, Monday and Tuesday and I grab a couple things out of the alley. That's hurting me. I've got to learn. I'm obsessive compulsive. I think a lot of us are, right? A lot of us as far as spending money, collecting, whatever it might be. And it's the hunt. It's that high we get when we go out and we find something really special. And then we search for that feeling again and again and again. And uh, it's getting harder and harder to satisfy that craving. But uh, I think that's what keeps us going and can keep us banging. Now, is it feasible for me to unload and do all that I want to get done here on this planet while I have this chance? There is. It's just hard work. And hey, at 47, man, you know, I'm trying to wind it down. You say, 47, you're a baby. Yes, I know I'm a baby. But to someone who's 20, I'm an old fucking man. <laughs> and in my mind, I know an old man is coming real quick for me. So I'm trying to slow down and liquidate but yet not rush myself it's a real tough predicament because of, uh, being i'm a hunter picker junker i'm still out pulling stuff in so as much as i'm letting go but i, I think what i try to do is if i get rid of some items that uh, i have no love for no passion for if i can buy one piece that i do have passion for that's, i feel that's a small upgrade um as far as these trucks are concerned you know 10 bucks a piece these are great pieces. This is the type of stuff I want left over. When all is said and done and all is gone, I want old trucks like this. Yeah, $10 trucks. You betcha, because in 20, 30 years, knock on wood, if I'm still here, these are going to be great little pieces. Not big money get rich pieces, but a nice, decent piece to sell as a senior. Um, but Al, we want it all gone, right, man? Hey, now, let's sell. Sell, sell, sell. Tell me, you know, what are your guys? Uh, if you want to, you shoot me a, a message, you know, what is your strength? I've touched on this before. Is it picking? Is it hunting? Is it finding? Is it selling? Is it listing? What is it? Is it dealing with people? Um, is it um, networking to get into situations that are uh, fruitful for us? Mine definitely is picking. I feel I have a green thumb and can be drawn to it and can save and find treasure. I can really sniff it out. What I'm horrible at is getting rid of it. And that's always been a problem. Um, my stepfather always said that I wasn't a people person. And in some ways it's very true because I'm reserved. Unless you show me friendliness, I'm pretty standoffish, I guess. But if you show me that friendliness, and if you're really a good person, I open up. And I'm, I just never shut up, just like I am in this video, you know. I just keep rambling. Watch any of my videos. It's just ranting and rambling and repeating and uh, trying to touch on points that I feel are important that maybe somebody can take something from. But it, trying to turn a negative feeling around, let's say you're selling at the flea market and you don't have sales, sales, it's defeating. It really can suck the life out of you and make you think, fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've been there. I'm still there. <laughs> I, at times, don't even know what I've done and if I've made mistakes. But I'm learning, and I'm learning, and I'm trying and trying to get to the core of all of this and what we all want, and that's success, but yet no anxiety. We want peace. We want to have, uh, if, if this you choose this as a career or a lifestyle or if it already is, you want to, have, you want to function properly. You don't want to become a hoarder. 
And realistically, this is a horde, right? A horde of what I would consider cool shit, but realistically, a horde. And it's got to go. Because even at 47, let's say I live to 100, which I would love to do. That would be beautiful. And I would love to even get over 100. So I'm an old, scraggly man with treasures. And yes, I'll sell you the treasures if I'm 100 years old. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just getting to the core of it, it's still, you know, even though I've been at this basically damn near my whole life on one level or another, or another I have never totally streamlined or tweaked this to where I want it yet. And that's something we can all do. Where do we want to go with this? What is our goal in the end? Uh, what is the purpose of all this collecting? No rhyme or reason to it. Why do I have this and I have that? You know, but yet I don't love them. I love this. I mean, you know, it's just like, why do we keep? Because we're sitting there going, oh, that might be worth a ton. Or, oh, I can flip that and make it. But at some point, you have to rein it in. And I'm trying to get there. I really am. And to tell you the truth, as crazy as this all seems, I am reining it in. When I go buying now, I really am trying to be more decisive, putting the brakes on. And trying to stay away from stuff that, you know, I don't, there's just no money in it. Because I've got plenty of that. So guys, I hope you can feel me. I guess all I'm trying to do is, I'm thinking out loud to you. Really all these videos are. You remember, I never script this shit. I never think it out. I kind of, you know, I'll go, oh, I'm going to go out and show the trucks. I'm going to touch on this and touch on that. But... You know, I think that I'm thinking out loud and I'm sharing my thoughts and my feelings and my honest emotions with you about this. And yes, it's overwhelming and it is draining at times. It's peaks and highs, peaks and peaks and lows, peaks and lows, peaks and highs. That's the same freaking thing. Um, but yeah, it's just tough, man. So keep it to the grind. Keep learning from your mistakes because remember, that's all a mistake is, is a lesson for you to learn from. It's a positive. It doesn't feel that way, and it sucks at the moment, but if you reassess, kick back six, seven hours later and rethink about it and go, okay, what did I effing learn from that? There's always something good to learn, man, and, and really to adjust and tweak until we get to where we want to be with this stuff. You know, are we just a collector? What are your dreams with this? Is it, do you just want to save old treasure for, to hoard it off to yourself? Then that's awesome. Do you want to resell? That's awesome too. But let's think realistically and have some type of goals for ourselves and try to um, um, just learn and learn and learn. And that's all these videos are for. Uh, when I sit there and say learn, do I honestly think I'm teaching anyone anything? Hey. If I'm not teaching you and I'm saying something wrong and you know that I'm saying it wrong, well then, hey, then you're on the right path. But I think I just got to spew this shit out there, right? And we're going to just, you know, my mistake, you learn from it. Um, if you do pick up anything from me, then totally that's rad because that's what I want to give. I want that good feeling to go out there because I am a good guy and I am trying to share and I just love this medium. And let's face it, when it comes down to it, I just can't shut the F up. <laughs> and I like attention and I like to talk. And as you can see, I am not at a kegger right now. I'm in my bunker with all my junk. And so I'm just talking to you. No different than how a guy would talk over a donut in his old shop back in the old days, how they used to do it. So this is my way to reach you, communicate with you. Um, if you get a tip, that's rad. Um, I'm stoked. All the positives that I do get, which I don't get a ton of, and I don't get a ton of negatives either. I kind of ride right in the middle there. But um, uh, all the warm comments that I get that are nice and kind, believe me, I appreciate them. It's very kind of all of you to say that, to even take the time out to sit down for 10, 15 minutes and watch one of my videos. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. And that was the whole idea behind this. Uh, I think a, a few years ago originally it was to get my own TV show that was the whole idea and then it became let's just get down to the purity of it let's skip that idea and let's just go pure let's just pump these videos out there and uh, you know let people access them and take what they can from them pick my videos take something out of my videos there must be something in each video that you can learn from whether it's a mistake of mine uh, a foolish comment of mine 
these are the great things that we can um, take from this. And so I'm going in circles now. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to stay away from. But I just want to shout out to you guys and say, hey, man, I'm refocused. I'm still going to bust out the videos. I'm still going to show you cool things. Is it uh, as many as I'd like to? No. You know how I go. I kind of go in a flurry. I might pump out 30, 40 videos and then stop and you won't hear from me for six months. But I do that because I try to stay pure. I never want to force these. I don't want to feel, oh, shit, I got to go make a video. What the hell am I going to talk about and start writing notes and shit. I want to be able to come down here, flick this freaking thing on, and just shoot from the hip and, and keep it pure. I never want it to be a hassle. And at this point, it is not. And when it is, I take a break, which I just did recently. But I do have something in the works for you guys that you are going to understand all of my um, taking time off for. If it works out, you guys are going to be stoked. I'm going to be fucking stoked. I'm going to be so stoked. You don't know. It's like a pizza. Who don't love pizza, right? Pizza and a money and a women. Now, there we go. That's my pitiful Italian there. That's the Italian in me. I can't get away from it. It's like a Mr. T. That's the first guy I ever heard. Uh, Father, what was his name? He was on Saturday Night Live. Fa Father... Uh, I forget his name, but whatever. He had come out with, you know, remember Mr. Coffee? Back in the 70s, 80s, there was a commercial for Mr. Coffee. Well, he had a thing called a Mr. T. It's a real simple. You put a tea bag in there, and this is when my Italian's going to get me shredded. Because this is, hey, I'm just joking. I do have Italian blood, so it's cool. No offense meant. All right, guys. As I sit here with my Cold War... Eastern German helmet wondering what the hell am I going to do with it. Get out there. Sell something. And if you can, get in that car. Put three bucks in the car. Go drive the alleys, man. Find something. Save something. Remember, it's not garage sales. It's not estate sales. It's alongside the road. It's an old lady who's throwing some things out. And you stop and you say, hey, do you got anything else you need to get rid of? I buy old things. You'd be surprised what I pay for. If you have anything that you're just going to get rid of, might as well let me take a look. Boom, next thing you know, you're in the garage, and she's showing, and you are bringing home a freaking treasure to write home about, and that we all love, we love, we love, we love. Hey now, Metal Mike on fire! Now I'm going to go chill, take the rest of the Sunday off, and reevaluate this whole situation from my lessons from the garage sale and the flea market, and get back to the basics. What does that mean? Getting rid of this crap, right? And scoring the good stuff for the collection for retirement. Hey, oh. Black Sabbath rule, by the way, don't they? I had a 72-year-old man today tell me he liked my uh, my uh, Slayer vest. That was rad. <laughs> that was a positive. This is a great piece right here, huh? This is old carnival-like uh, pottery. It's pretty early 1900s. Got 100 bucks on it. I'll never get it. Made in Japan. So I think this is pre-war. So I think it's early 1900s, but this one doesn't have any freaking chips in it. Yes, it's gaudy and hideous, but it's also very cool. I found that in a hoarder situation. All right, guys. I've rambled. I've showed you junk. Look at it all, man. Try to stay away from this guy. Streamline, streamline.